Up until today, generating the procedural bone data for Source Engine was very tedious, but not anymore. Thanks to Jacob G1215 and its latest creation. A Blender add-on in which all you do is pose bones, press four buttons and suddenly you have a fully working VRD file copied to your clipboard. Check the video description for the GitHub link and download the latest release. Install it like any other Blender add-on and then come back to this video so that I can show you how the add-on works. Before you start making helper bones, make sure that you are done with editing the armature itself. Make sure there are no issues with the armature or the proportion trick of a model in your game before you proceed. Otherwise, you may need to redo the entire VRD setup once again. But anyways, let's begin. Find whatever bone you want to be the control. When this bone moves, so should the helper. Select the parent of that control bone, make a copy of it by pressing Shift D and move it into place. Change its name to whatever you want. I'll be using HLP underscore color R. Change the parenting of this helper bone so that it uses the correct parent, same as the control. The reason we are copying the parent of the control bone rather than the control itself is because helper bone data is relative to the helper's parent bone. This way around simply is more accurate and has less problems. With the bone setup done, rig the helper bone until you are happy with the weight of it. You will most likely need to change the rigging while posing the helpers anyways. In fact, it's actually better if you pose and rig at the same time. For the sake of video length, I will skip the rigging part and come back when I'm finished. 12 seconds later. Now we can finally begin getting the procedural bone data. With your cursor in the 3D view, press N to show the menu on the right hand side. You will see a menu called SRC Proc Bones. That's what we need to make all of these procedural bones. Click the plus button to create a new procedural bone setup. You can change the name of this group so that you can more easily tell the helper bone grouping apart. Select the target and control bone. Target is the procedural bone itself. Control is the bone whose movement triggers the procedural bone to move. In the box on the bottom, click the plus button to add a new trigger. I recommend you to rename the triggers as well, just to keep them apart. First, we will make the rest pose trigger, where no poses will be applied just yet. Press the three set buttons to capture the current pose. Press the plus button once again to add a second trigger, and then pose your control bone to the maximum rotation it can possibly go. Then, pose the helper bone so that the model looks good. Once you are happy with this pose, press the three set buttons once again. Now that you know how to add triggers, you can add up to 32 triggers with different poses if you want to. Here's a little tip. You could decompile the player's animation model and import any of the animations to pose your helpers around that pose. As an example, I imported the neutral aim matrix for holding the assault rifle. If your model is using the proportion trick, you will need to enter pose mode, select all bones, and clear the location transforms by pressing Alt G. Otherwise, the bones will be in the wrong spot, making this entire thing inaccurate. Once you are happy with the setups of your triggers, you can press the button that reads Copy All Enabled Quaternion Procedural. This will copy the entire finished VRD file right into your clipboard. Open a text editor of your choice and paste your copied text. Save this file with any name you want, ending in .vrd. I usually go for proc.vrd. Open your model's QC file and somewhere above the animation lines, write the command procedural bones proc.vrd. Don't forget to export the model you made if you had altered the rigging for the helper bones. 
At this point, you can compile your model and test it in HLMV or in game. If you need to change any trigger pose, press the Preview Trigger button. This will load the pose, allowing you to change the values and set them again. And with that, you learned all about how this add on works. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Subscribe to my channel for more guides like these. And feel free to leave a comment to suggest a topic if you have one. If you would like to financially support me, I also have a PayPal on which I will very gladly accept donations. Should you need help with this process, or modding in general, join the Dead for Mods Discord server. I also have a private Discord server, which is not quite as active, but I still post work in progress stuff and other nonsense once in a while. That's it for this video. See you next time. Take care. Bye.